the sun is gone, the beginning of the summer, at least according to the calendar. The meteorological summer, of course, started already on the 1st of July. Um, brings storms here quite some. It's actually super cold outside. My choice of short sleeves today was probably not the smartest one. I have at least a pullover with me, but that's usually the time when I put a hockey jersey, but it didn't seem right during the World Cup to wear a hockey jersey. Well, stormy was also the game in St. Petersburg between Brazil and Costa Rica. I thought the first half Costa Rica I don't want to say dominated, but they should have taken the lead. Uh, Brazil had chances, but I think Costa Rica for sure uh, did very well. They didn't hide. And then happened something that we haven't seen at this World Cup, that a favorite really, really puts the pedal to the metal and is attacking, 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 attacking. And yeah, could have been <laughs> one nothing within five minutes after the break. Brazil really pressed hard, but Kayla Navas and the Costa Rican defense did an outstanding job in keeping Brazil out. And for a long time, it seemed that this would have been a very untypically 0-0, the first one at this World Cup. Um, of course, Neymar did Neymar things. That is dribbling, although he restrained himself a little uh, more than last time. But basically, um, he was complaining. I really loved when the re referee told him, stop complaining, otherwise you're out. And then he did another Neymar thing and seemed to be very tired and fell down in the box. And the referee gave him the penalty. And fortunately, we have VAR. Uh, I'll come back to another VAR story just in a sec, which overturned. And I cannot tell you how happy I was at that moment because I knew that Neymar will get this. Uh, penalty and he will get a goal that I so uh, would not like to have him score. Um, let me say this straight. Neymar, I cannot stand. The rest of the Brazilian team, I think those are really good guys overall and there's no one that I really dislike there. Um, and uh, as a team they played well and I actually do agree with the assessment of the Brazilian press that maybe the team would be better without Neymar because they don't have this distraction, uh, I have to give him the ball. If Neymar plays for the team, and I think today he really, really tried, if Neymar plays for the team, then uh, he can be a great asset. But I'm not sure if he can once. So I guess it's down to the coach. And yeah, I think in the end he proved uh, that he is a vital part as well. But I think this Brazil team could be even better without him because then the entire team is let loose. Speculation for now. Uh, given that Neymar's fall in the penalty box was overturned, I thought he should have given a yellow card and given his um, complaints afterwards where he was then given finally a yellow card, he should have walked with a red card. Uh, I cannot stand this. I really can say I understand gamesmanship. I understand that you want to take influence on the referee. You want to get in his head, but not in this obvious, flagrant way. Um, this player is so much better. He does not need to be this diva. Uh, I mean, Neymar bothers me at the moment more than Ronaldo. Uh, I've made my peace with Ronaldo, I think, three or four years ago. And yeah, uh, his showboating is also, but he at least backs it up with uh, actions. Well, and when I really thought it will be the first 0-0, Brazil scores. And yes, I was dejected for Argentina, uh, for Argentina, for Costa Rica. Uh, it reminded me a lot about it now, that's why I'm saying Argentina, about the Argentina-Iran game uh, four years ago, where Costa Rica put up a very brave fight, probably because of their efforts would have deserved a 0-0. Zero, zero. Um, they were not as, uh, how do you say, Iran I think even had a chance to uh, make it 1-0 early on. And it was not a brilliant strike by the world's best player to finish off this game. It was actually a rather scrappy goal, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, with yeah, Jesus 
mishandled the ball and was it was great that um, Coutinho was right there to knock it in uh, <laughs> between the legs of uh, Navas of all people uh, yeah he must feel horrible and then Neymar gets his second goal yeah he will feel very very good about himself I don't know if this it meant uh, I've killed the game off or whether it was some other gest uh, gesture uh, if it was what I thought initially again he doesn't endear himself to me um, yeah but I think Brazil won deservedly so uh, if they would not have won here this would have been a very tricky situation so um, for that reason I think it was good that Brazil won uh, they actually showed what they can do and I was happy about that so it was actually a good game by Brazil uh, they finally finally a favorite that played like a favorite um, I give a little bit to Spain but I think Brazil looked overall convincing if they just made the goal uh, earlier I think this could have been a, um, they could have showed a little bit more but this this is actually a Brazil that I like to watch and yes I was uh, a little bit on Costa Rica's side I admit to it, it but if Brazil keeps playing like that um, they are the favorites for me and I think they would be a joy to watch all over so what was also a joy to watch was the blue jerseys uh, which I like much better than the yellow ones for once um, yeah, no, 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 no for us I like the blue Brazil jersey uh, but again FIFA kit regulations I don't know. Did you have problems distinguishing Brazil from Switzerland just a few days ago? Yellow versus red? No. I didn't think so. Uh, so why Brazil played in blue and Costa Rica in white? Again, I know it is the better contrast. I understand that. I also understand that Costa Rica plays in blue pants, Brazil likes to play in blue pants and yes I'm somewhat happy that Brazil didn't uh, wear white pants with their yellow shirt which is a look I don't really like but I thought this is the look they will be going for. Well, there was a Costa Rica Brazil matchup in 2002 that was Brazil in yellow, white and then blue socks and uh, Costa Rica in their traditional red. Uh, blue pants and white socks um, yeah I don't quite get it I think I could have imagined that they force Costa Rica to play in all red or something like that but yeah maybe they went for the higher contrast matchup um, and it's very likely this is the first group where within two games we've seen all jerseys also something special uh, the Costa Rica jerseys looked a little bit better in play then when I saw them at first I still don't like that the front of the sleeves is white and the back is black at least the shoulders are also black so it doesn't look as crazy as I at first thought it will be well let me know what you thought about Brazil and their performance uh, you can always drop me a line about Neymar whether you love him or hate him uh, let me know what you thought about Costa Rica I think Costa Rica played much better and against Serbia they did very well in defending uh, it's admirable I I don't know I sometimes enjoy good defending better than good attacking because it shows tight-knit group uh, soccer is a team game and since yesterday we know that meanwhile soccer is an ultimate team game in 86 Maradona could take a less than average Argentina set to a World Cup title Messi cannot do this anymore it is an absolute team game now and it's also a game of the missing link uh, the weakest link not the strongest piece of the chain so that's why I liked uh, Costa Rica's performance today their goalkeeper Kayla Navas proved worthy of being their Real Madrid goalkeeper uh, also Brazil played very well I think this was one of the best matches in the World Cup it would have been a shame if it ended 0-0 to be honest uh, Costa Rica should have buried an early chance and then maybe Brazil could have scored the two that they scored anyway so yeah uh, it was a really good game I really enjoyed uh, watching that one at least as much as I could while doing some work I have to screen one screen with the game one screen with work and earplugs okay again 
let me know what you thought in the comments below. Uh, also, if you get the chance, check out my blog. Uh, you might enjoy that as well. And I will talk to you soon. Post some more videos, uh, at least by tomorrow. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.